Okay, Virgo, how are you doing? How is everything going for you? I know that you guys have been in a massive like. Um, I'm getting an image of like, you know, when you go on the corporate retreats and it's all about the trust building exercises. Yeah. You've been in a giant trust building exercise with source recently. So, uh, how are you doing with that? Have you learned to, to, to stop trusting fear and start trusting, um, um, yourself, start trusting imagination, using your imagination to benefit your life, to create your life. Yeah. How's that going for you? Let's find out. Let's find out. Cause I feel like this is massive breakthrough time for everybody i'm sure that you're feeling this breakthrough all right our beautiful virgos what is the energy in store for virgos uh wheel of fortune that's where you take the wisdom that you have gained you recognize the wisdom within and you expand and there is no going back everything becomes really 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 good for you at this point point. and so we have here the six of cups this could be nostalgia where you um, are connecting with somebody from the past but more than that it is all about I feel like there are parts of you that you may have forgotten about that you are now connecting with, that you are parts of you that you cherish deeply. This feels, this six of cups feels very, very sacred. Now you could be connecting with, I want to say it like a maternal energy. Either you're connecting with a, a, a maternal energy within yourself or maybe someone who is a mother or has acted like a mother figure in your life. But there is a strong sense of love radiating from your heart chakra right now that is very um, helpful for your household. Either you are mothering somebody else, somebody is mothering you, you are mothering yourself. Something around this mothering energy is really helpful for you right now because something you are building or what you have built is about to pay off financially and your material world is going to expand in an enormous way. Now this with, with the wheel of fortune, the six of cups and the 10 of pentacles, I would say that your household finances are going to, um, increase exponentially and probably you're going to be getting a bigger house. At least you're going to be working out of a bigger environment. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's what that feels like. Um, again, something to do with mothering energy, something to do with mother. And a lot of you have learned to mother yourselves in areas that you have felt scared before. King of swords, authenticity, um, truth in character, um, making strong decisions from the truth of who you are. Three of cups, connecting with those people who are like-minded that are, that lift each other up, that are emotionally, emotionally supportive. And, um, you can 100% be yourself with. We have the five of cups reversed. Okay. So all of those places that you had been like hanging out in where you've been looking backwards and been trying to find something of value in something that's actually very unhealthy for you, where you have regret, where you have resentment, where you have um, disappointment and failure and all those things, you're no longer playing in that world. You're now bridging your experience through emotion to support solutions, to support seeing over things that have been difficult and hard. You're using emotions to be your guide at this point. You know that the truth of who you are is revealed through how you feel and you're choosing very wisely at what you do with your mind making strong decisions from an emotionally balanced place. So yeah, when I said, I think that you um, have, have been playing the, the, um, the truth game. What is it? What did I say? Tr the truth exercise game. You got it. You got it. And now you, here's this magician card. Now you are able to manifest exactly what you want without question. And you know it, you know, it. you know exactly now how to, receive information from source through having yourself rooted in an emotionally stable place to be able to see over any obstacles, to be able to overcome anything that you choose and be able to have, do, be, go, want anything that you want. 
So yeah, your finances are growing. Your house is growing. The experiences that you're, that you're about to have are going to be much more elaborate, much more in tune with what you want. And you are no longer going to play in fear anymore. So um, yeah, Ace of Pentacles is where you have a new financial you have a new financial um, um, situation on the horizon. So uh, you have you're experiencing um, a new sense of financial well-being beyond what you've ever experienced before. So your money is growing and all of your wants, all of your needs, all of your material world is completely stabilized and you're able to move forward in your on your path for through um, <clears throat> excuse me, through vitality, vibrance, joy, happiness flourishing yeah i would definitely imagine that you're going to be seeing a lot of money in the very near future there's no doubt about that there's no doubt about it there's going to be some way that your finances have increased and the wheel of fortune has said it's absolute your world is getting bigger and you now are no longer fearing yourself or fearing life you're out of you're you've gotten over the fear factor. You remember that show? Do you remember that movie back from what was it in the 90s? The fear factor? Oh my gosh. I used to watch that show just to squeal. And I think that you guys have put yourselves through some um mental tormenting games just to listen to yourself squeal because that's what you that's what you knew. That's what you knew. And now you know how to trust you. Now you know how to use your imagination to create the world that you want. Now you are in control. Instead of being a victim of circumstances, you are the creator of destiny. Now you are the creator of your reality. So good job, Virgo. You made it through. Now you're ready for all the blessings that come with Pluto and Aquarius with uh, Saturn going direct all of the, um, you know, the south node being in your sign. Yeah, you're no longer going to be um, stuck in the mire, which is mud, right? Stuck in the mud of um, an old way of doing things that doesn't work out well for you. Now you get to really love and experience life of your choosing. All right. So I love this for you. Thank you so much, Virgo, for being here with me. I hope you absolutely enjoy this week and I will see you all next week.